Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In this edition, we shall be discussing about the Electronic Waste Management Rules. So recently, the Union Environment Ministry unveiled the draft of Electronic Waste Management Rules. Let us discuss about the E-Waste Management Rules. The first law was passed on e-waste management in the year 2011 based on the Extended Producer Responsibility, that is EPR. Now, EPR put the onus on the producer for the management of final stages of the life of its product in an eco-friendly way by creating certain norms in tandem with the state pollution control boards. E-waste management rules 2016 further strengthened the existing rules. So the rules strengthen the extended producer responsibility, which is the global best practice to ensure the take back of end of life products. A new arrangement entitled Producer Responsibility Organization was introduced to strengthen the EPR further. Now let us discuss about the new draft of e-waste management rules. Firstly, it talks about incentivizing registered electronic waste recyclers by introducing the EPR certificates, which was not part of the 2016 rules. Secondly, the electronic goods have been specified in the notification and also the consumer goods companies and makers of the electronics goods have to ensure that at least 60% of their electronic waste is collected and recycled by the year 2023 with the targets to increase them to 70% and 80% in 2024 and 2025 respectively. So let us discuss what is electronic waste or as we call e-waste. Now electronic waste is the term used to describe old, end of life or discarded electronic appliances. The global e-waste monitor reports that nearly 3 million tons of electronic waste was generated in India. If we talk about the impacts of e-waste, First of all, for environment, it includes groundwater pollution, acidification of soil, contamination of groundwater and also air pollution. It can also cause serious illness such as lung cancer, respiratory problems, bronchitis, brain damages, etc. Now, if we talk about the recycling potential, it has a poor recycling potential. 90% of our e-waste is handled by informal sector. Now, what are the reasons behind high e-waste generation and less recycling? First of all, there is higher consumption. India is among the world's largest consumers of mobile phones and e-products. There is economic growth and urbanization process, which leads to usage of electronic goods. Thirdly, there are shorter product life cycles and limited repair options. And also, most of the consumers are still unaware of how to dispose of their electronic waste. Now, for a positive way ahead, first of all, we have to look for effective awareness with all the stakeholders. Secondly, strict implementation of the rules, training for requisite skills and technologies should be considered. And also, there is a need for the upgradation of the informal sector. Now, let us take up a practice question on this topic. Which of the following is proposed under the newly drafted electronic waste management rules? First. Extended Producer Responsibility Certificates, EPR Certificates. Second, Electronic Goods Have Been Specified. And third, Establishment of Waste Electronic and Electrical Equipment Forum, that is WEEE Forum. Now, select the correct answers using the codes given below. You can write your answers in the comments section below. So, as we know, the correct answer is option A. That is only the first and second statements are correct. The third statement talks about establishment of waste electronic and electrical equipment forum, which is wrong. So the correct answer is A only. Well, with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. For regular updates, you can follow us on our social media handles. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.